Good morning. We love you all. And one of the things I noticed, um, some of this is going to seem cryptic to many people because, uh, gosh, how do I put this? They're simply not there yet. Uh, they, um, well, you know, when I was a small child, I realized we got to just about every, I, I call it a zoo. It's not meant to be a negative comment. It's just how I translate it. Most people have been to a zoo like the San Diego Zoo, the St. Louis Zoo, a zoo in Germany, a zoo in Australia. And now we're back to callers, leases and cages, right? Prisons. Holding a planetary as a prison planet, right? Using it as a farm to do what? Frankenstein experiments and an intergalactic slave trader market. Okay, that's the truth of it. So the higher your state of awareness, the more you realize what's actually going on and you realize there's a lot of folks that don't have a clue what's going on, but they're simply aware of what they're aware of. But you're also aware they're not aware of what you're aware of. So you realize how that game is played and why, right? I mentioned that once before, what an outlier is on an XYZ scatter plot. You're too different. Because you realize there isn't a whole lot of souls down here amongst an 8 billion heads running around. We used to call talking heads, right? Okay, so as soon as I woke up, the first thing that I noticed is I get a video pop up from Maria Colvin Hill. And the first thing that I notice, I'm looking at the clock that it says on the phone here, 7.32 in the morning a.m. Hawaiian time here on the Big Rock, main engine manifold. And the sound buffering speed, right, is not matched up to what you see on the visual information screen. That is significant. Here, where I'm at. Because this phone's got a 5G router here, and uh, it goes, it disconnects, goes on, disconnects, and that is also significant, isn't it? From an electronic point of view, an electron's point of view. So one of the things that I noticed on our video this morning, she's covering stuff with Admiral Byrd, when Admiral Byrd, and by the way, just a little sidebar of Admiral Byrd, um, I ran into another AB positive uh, uh, his name was Chris Nadeau. His mother was uh, part of what was known as the White Rose Movement in Germany to oust Adolf Hitler and the Nazis, the demons, right? And, and, of course, that whole history of everything that they did to Germany. When I was a child growing up, I couldn't figure it out. For as intelligent and scientific uh, that the German people seem to be, from the things that I read about them, even though I have never been to Germany, I've never met some of these people there, why would they ever allow their country to be destroyed, allowing to be ruled over by demons and thugs and gangsters? And Goering, Hermann Goering, which was one of Hitler's right-hand man, who wore the, uh, what was they called, the Blue Max, right? You see the four points on the compass with the iron cross, right? And just as a footnote to that, their, uh, their cross, if you want to achieve the highest, what they gave out as the highest distinguished medal for killing was known as the Iron Cross, Oak Leaves, Swords, and Diamonds. There weren't very many of those that got those, by the way. One guy, I believe his name was Hartman. I think Hartman, who was a pilot with the Luftwaffe, uh, had the most kills. I think it was somewhere up around, almost 400, somewhere around there. Um, but anyway, the point is, is that things are changing fast. They're, they're accelerating faster now because you notice it. So when I realized that this lady's video was not matching up what you see on the visual information screen, which means the sound that you hear and the movement of her lips are not matched. You can read her lips. They're not synced. And this is when you can get into East Gate, West Gate, negative magnetic polarity, positive magnetic polarity, balance, the imbalance between the two, right? Because you know what sound compression breakthrough is, right? You know how a torsion field movie works? Right? Expansion. Compression, right? Okay, so things are moving faster. 
which means change over time space vectors is changing faster. Okay. So I notice that on my phone because I look at the changes that the AI is doing. Like, for instance, when I go down and look at my window about I want to send a message, the visual information has changed. They're changing the visual information at a higher rate of speed in order to erase what it was that you were experiencing before in the past that you're no longer experiencing in the future. you got to be faster than the AI to see what it's doing. Truman shows. Remember, they know how to do this. Reprogram your future. Future proofs past back to the future so that your souls of your children have a future. That's why we're here. <clears throat> okay. So when I see that Maria Colvin Hill is basically rerunning information on her channel that I've already experienced, that's called a rerun, which means it's already in RAM. Oh, so she's rerunning information. So the next thing would be, well, go look at her audience. As I mentioned to my clan mother, Karen Ann McDonald. How many of those identities that you see on her channel have souls? How many of them are bots? How many of them represent beings from all over the place? Do you know? Do you know every single identity that is on her channel is following Gina Hill as a soul? Right? So now you get an information speed, drive speeds, current events, coded mathematical information of what you're experiencing through your RAM, or what gets recorded. So I just scramble all that stuff and delete it. Doesn't apply. You know it does not apply, right? Does not apply to us. Why? Because it represents everything they are, which isn't who we are, which what we are is what love is. So they love to control your space, what you experience in your space, because they charge you money and electrons for just being in their space. That space is known as the underworld. Because they're demons. Yeah, energetic vampires. Psychopaths. The psychopathway. The mental field pathway. That's an AI. Electronic thoughts, what you feel magnetically, emotionally. Yeah, baby. Light my fire. <laughs> NPCs, non-player characters. You know what a character map is on a keyboard? They don't even provide enough characters on the keyboard. Do you see a D that is going in the other direction? You see a D with a line going this way like this, right? Okay, that's a D. So in other words, half the wave's going this way, which is half of what? A circle. But they don't give you another button, a key on your keyboard with a D that's going in that direction, do they? Or a circle with a split through it. How about a cross? In other words, they don't give you all the characters. So how many gazillion beings are using keyboards that are limited? That's called limited bandwidth. Because now you're not getting all the notes, which are all the sounds that represent all the keys. Keyboard warriors, AI war gamers using keyboards. I can't remember that general's name. I believe he had three stars or four stars that was working at the time in the national intelligence community when President Trump was president. And they went after him. But you have to understand that these guys run military psyops, fakers. They put that stuff out on mass media you look at that and go, oh, really? Is this what's going on? This is, this is, remember I mentioned this one time before. You got to know who the enemy is because they speak in code. It's called reading between the lines. This is not a beginner's course in spiritual warfare. They're experts at fooling you. And I realized that as a child because they can look like a duck. They can quack like a duck. They can even do things that look like, hey, that's a real duck. No, I'm sorry, but it's not a real duck. They're masqueraders. They're the ones that set up movie sets. Halloween balls, right? That's what they do. But they can't fool the one. 
because the light will expose everything, which is all their lies, all their murders, all their kidnapping, all their predatory tactics, right? They're control freaks. They don't know how to let go of anything, right? They represent killing fields. Everything's got to be under control. That's why they put a leash, collar, and a cage on everybody, right? So we're ending that. That's against the law of one. The one's here. Okay, so relax, please. This war has actually already been won. I saw a little little clip the other day about the Sumerians and the Anunnaki invented time. Oh, they invented it, huh? Because there's only energy. There's only what love is because love is what's real. Because it's the kind of energy that when you receive it from a mother and a father that loves you as their children, then when you're experiencing what love is, then you know that you're loved by them. And when you're experiencing what love is, that is beautiful energy to experience because that's what I am. And I have experienced others who love my soul and spirit. So love conquers all, doesn't it? Mothers know that. Fathers know that. Children know that. Birds know that. Fish know that. Trees know that. Plants know that. Grass knows that. Living organisms, little living organisms, the elementals know that. When you are what love is, love goes on forever, gifting energy. So it began with what love is. We're here. It's over. They know that. That's why they threw this kitchen sink at everyone here. Thank you all for being here. We love you all. Take care of yourselves. Be good to yourselves. Oh, one last thing. I mentioned this before about the importance if you're a parent or a mother or a father or, if you will, an adult, right? The importance of your children. Because particularly between the ages of one and six, and that is that when there is an enormous amount of change that's going change is taking place and you're getting hammered with nothing but negative stuff because I grew up with this as a child and I thought to myself who wants to read a newspaper publication where 98 percent of the content that is in it is all negative stuff right how much love is, is being communicated to you in a magazine or one of their publications or on any one of their tv program channels so you, you, you get the, the picture of where you're at, the environment that you're occupying. Okay. And so this is where children become really important because they key off their adults for obvious reasons. Okay. You know, just like you see little tiny bear cubs with its mother or father. Right. Okay. Which means they're not on their own feet taking care of themselves. So that means they look to their parents for guidance which is a spirit guide, right? Okay, so therefore, it is the importance if they see that you're panicked, you're stressed out, you're in a state of fear, they're experiencing your energy instead of experiencing what love is, like I experienced from my mother from nightmares. Because love is protection energy. So, this is where all the spiritual warriors got to stand up, right? Particularly for children, because that's what they go after. They go after children, the ones that are defenseless. So that's my suggestion to the adult community. Is to stand up, be what love is, so that your children can experience what love is through you. And they know that that energy will protect them. Which is a higher vibration. Have a great day. I love you all. Be good to yourselves.